We needed to locate Ryuichi Cooper, Master Ninja, and Master Chef. According to the Cooper clan history, Ryuichi Cooper was actually the inventor of sushi. After creating this delectable dish, he opened a sushi restaurant, which, while very prosperous, also provided the perfect cover for a ninja. When we got to Japan, it was obvious something was very wrong. What should have been a peaceful village was more like a heavily patrolled military base. We located Ryuichi Sushi Restaurant only to find it shut down and under guard. Things got worse when Bentley discovered that Ryuichi was locked up in a new high security jail, allegedly for serving bad sushi to the Shogun. It all sounded like a pretty tough piece of fish to swallow. We needed to get to the bottom of the situation. And the first order of business was getting Ryuichi out of prison. Fly Cooper and the gang in. Turning Japanese. Oh my god, it was so great saying that. Like, I've missed, like, reading out uh, the name of every episode in the slide games. That was so great. As you can see, we still have the thief net. We still have some kind of a safe house. I'll show you around in the safe house a bit later on. Um, maybe in the next part or the part after. But we can't really do much in the safe house right now. But there are um, more additions to the safe house. So it's not like just one room and you choose one of the characters. It's kind of more than that in this game. Which is quite cool. So I'll show you that when we get um, more into the game, I guess. Now we're just going to head out into the open. Into the game. And the loading screens in this game are quite long, in my opinion, actually. At least right now. This seems to be taking a lot of time. And in the loading screen you can see how much uh, you have collected and what you have left. So we are in feudal Japan, which looks very nice. It looks really good. Like, it's really as aesthetically beautiful. I really love the look of um, most of the episodes in this game. As there's especially one episode that I don't like the look of it, but we'll get to that when we get there. Um, but feudal Japan looks amazing. It looks really great. And I do actually think Sly looks good. Like, I like the whole look of um, of the action of the game when you're playing, but I have to I have to say that I don't really like the look of the cutscenes. I don't think they look good. So yeah, I don't like that, but I like the game in itself. And there we just found our first clue bottle in this episode, and uh, as I said before, I won't be collecting them all, but I'll show you where the safe is, I think. I need you to do some recon for me. Camera work? Correct a mundo, Monami. I need some shots of the prison entrance and the samurai armor those big guards are wearing. You should also grab some shots of Ryuichi's restaurant. We may need those for later. Capish? Uh, yeah. I got you, pal. But maybe we should stick with English. Sayonara, Cooper-san! Oh, that's funny. So if you remember from Sly 2 and Sly 3, um, uh, we usually did like recon missions, usually. Most in Sly 2. Um, like you start off the episode and Bentley's probably talking, but um, hey ho, I can't hear him talking. We usually started off every episode with a recon mission where we go around um, the area we have the episode in and we take photos basically of important things or things we need to remember or do something with um, and they have brought that back in this game as well and there's the Imperial Prison where Ryuichi Cooper who is the Cooper member we're saving in this episode is being held so we're going to be getting inside there um, like later on in this video and we're actually going to save him. 
Um, you will see more of that later. And he just knocked me off the roof. That's not nice. And there's another clue bottle. And there are also items around the levels that you can collect and bring back to the safe house for extra coins, as we did have in slide two as well. Um, and when you steal in this mission, or in this game, you'll get like the coins straight away. It's not like in slide two where you have to steal it and then sell it um, at safe house. It's just like in slide three where you get the coins straight away. And this gate looks so cool with these dragons. It looks really great. And I like the look of the camera too. Actually, I do. So that's three out of five photos. We need to take two more. And here's another clue bottle. It's just hiding there. And uh, thankfully I saw it, so it can't sneak away from me. I won't like get most of um, the clue bottles, but I won't be collecting all of them as I said. But when I see a clue bottle, I'll collect it. Like, why not collect it, even though I'm not trying to collect them all. But it's just, I think it's fun to collect them sometimes, and I would like to collect some of them. Like, why not? And it's the same with the slime masks. Like, I know where a few of them are, and when I see them, I'll just get them. But uh, that's not what I'm trying to do, though. That's not like my... Uh, priority in the game. And there's another clue bottle. Now we can take a photo here of the sushi house. Ryuichi Cooper basically has like a sushi house where he makes sushi. It's like his restaurants, which is a bit weird, but um, that's okay, I guess. It sounds a bit weird that a Cooper member had like a restaurant, but um, why not? Like, uh, why not? Um, it's fun, I guess, to make sushi. I've never made sushi my, myself. I probably should try to make it. And not eat it. And that, that move is so cool. I love that move. That's like a classic. So we're going to get up here and we're going to take the last photo we'll be taking in this mission of the Geisha House. And that is El Jefe. He's basically like the villain of this episode. Make sure you take a photo of him so we have it in our photo album, I guess. There we go. He's the tiger. Why? I'm sure I recognize that guy. He's wanted by Interpol. He's a ruthless mercenary general responsible for overthrowing several small countries. So what kind of mess are we in, Bentley? I don't know. But one thing's certain, my hunch was correct. We aren't the only ones with a time machine. And there we go, we just completed our first mission. Job complete. I think the job complete um, um, things look quite good. They look better in, uh, than they did in slide 3 at least. But yeah, I think they look good in this game. So we just finished our first mission, the recon mission. Now we can do another mission. Yeah, you can replay jobs basically. Um, here's the safe house. You can't really do anything. The Cooper van, you can go back to previous episodes. Like, that's quite cool, the table tennis. And here's artifacts you can collect. There's stuff you can do here, but we can't do anything now, to be honest. And here's the thief net. I don't have many coins, so I'll need to work on getting more coins. And there's the paraglider. Um, yeah, I need to be working on getting more coins because there's many abilities and moves you can buy in this game that are really cool. So I would like to get as many of, of them as I possibly can. 
just you have them and it's fun to have them and many of them are really good so why not get them eh but yeah um that was El Jefe as you saw he's like the villain of this episode and uh, we're going to find out more about him coming up soon um, but firstly we need to work on freeing uh, Ryuichi Cooper from his prison so that's what we need to do now uh, what's going on? <laughs> that was a little glitch and I think I just saw a clue bottle as well yeah there we go 9 out of 30 some of the clue bars are quite difficult to find like if you're missing like a few but in like slide 2 for example the other game with clue bottles like I play that game so many times that I kind of know where all of them are and another interesting thing is that in every episode you can rob different things from the guards you don't rob like the same thing as you did in for example slide 2 where you get like rings and um all of that stuff like a kabuki mask that's for japan you can rob many different things which i think is very very nice Your database security, Murray's pants. Whatever, Sly. This is no laughing matter. I've checked, and there really is no way in except for the front entrance. I think there's only one option. The doorbell. Very funny. No, you're going to need a disguise. Get yourself a suit of armor from those guards. That's our way in. Roger that. Just call me Samurai Sly. Alright, so it seems like the only way inside the prison is the front entrance. Um, so we'll need to get a disguise to get in. So we're going to steal three pieces of the samurai armor from the guards. And with those three pieces collected, we'll have the samurai co costume. There's many different costumes um, around the game that we'll be getting. A lot of them are very cool. I like the Samurai one, for example. Um, it's just a great little addition to the game, I guess. That I really like. I like the costume part in this game. Like, I feel like in slide 3 that the costumes weren't really that necessary. Like, you use them a few times. But in this game, you can use them outside of the missions too. Like, around... Um, the hub area you can use them to get stuff um so i like that part of it that you kind of use the costumes more kind of like they just seem more useful i guess which is always nice so the second part of the disguise is just behind the geisha house there the sleeping guard or is he sleeping I don't know we'll check if he's sleeping oh no he's not sleeping now let's just get the armor samurai armor so now we're just missing the third and last piece we need to find that the guard is a bit far away it seems and this area is really fun to play at, at. There's a lot of stuff you can do here. A lot of fun areas you can go. And Sly is a character that's always fun to play as. Like, he's really fun to play as. Just a really fun character. Um, Bentley and Mary are also fun, but they're not like agility masters like Sly. So they're kind of something different. But I like how the characters are not similar I just think that's a really good addition it would not be like the same if they were all were similar if you know what I mean so I like that that there's some differences between them 12 out of 30 clue bottles and I said I was going to show you guys the safe um, in the episodes here's the safe for this one right there you can see it 
they're quite easy to find in this game. They're not like in hard places to find in Sly 2. Um, so it's not too difficult to get them. And there's another clue bottle. And here's the last guard which we will be stealing samurai armor from. There we go! We now have the entire disguise. It looks super cool. So now that we have the disguise, look at these small piggies. Now I feel really mean for killing it. Oh my god, I won't be doing that again. They're so cute though. So with this very cool armor, just look at that. And I like Japan. I think it looks very nice here. So with the disguise, we'll go back to the prison and we'll try to persuade the guard to let us in. Hopefully it will work. With the disguise it should be working well. Maybe he'll think we're one of one of the guards, hopefully. So let's head up here, put on the disguise and talk to him. You there, open the door. Hmm. A little short to be a commander. Aren't you? Who are you? Why, I am Major Mugshot. Huh? Mugshot? I've never heard of you. Ha! Huh, you dare question me? Son, I've been a guard since you were just a squealing piglet. Wait until I tell the general about this. I hear he loves pork chops. Wait. I'm very sorry, sir. I didn't recognize you. Please, go right in. Alright, we're inside the Imperial prison now. It worked. You need to put on your disguise so that the guards will think you're one of them, basically. Um, so use the disguise when you're walking past them. You don't have to use the disguise when there's not guards around. So we have to use them quite a lot. And this is really weird. Look at this. It's like a little torture chamber. Like, look at that monkey. And this monkey getting spanked, like, that looks like a fetish. I don't know, S&M <laughs> dominatrix. Hey, Ryuichi Cooper, are you okay? Your guards all seem to make very poor jokes. Come on, I'm not one of those bozos. I'm here to bust you out. The name's Sly. Ah, uh, I see. A fellow ninja. Very good. You will need to make your way to the Dragon Bridge to reach this cage. Hurry up! Okay, I'll be there soon. Just stay put. <laughs> Very funny. Alright, that was Ryuichi Cooper, who we're going to bust out of prison, basically. Mm. And here's another one of those monkeys getting slapped and kicked. Oh, poor monkey. And inside here is a slime mask. It's uh, quite simple to miss, actually. Many of these slime masks are simple to miss. Um, so, Ryuji Cooper is quite nice. He's the um, inventor of that spire jump move, which is so great. That's one of the best moves in the Sly games. And I like his voice, I like how he looks and all of that stuff, and I like him throughout the game as well. Um, I think it's really nice how they made the game about the ancestors because that's like the one thing like we didn't really know that much about like we of course knew about the ancestors from collecting the pages in Thievis Raccoonus 
in Sly Raccoon and also at the end of Sly 3 on our Monk Thieves when we were going through the group revolt. Um, but I guess the reason that they decided to make this about the ancestors is that that was like the only route they had left to take, I guess, in this Sly um, story to tell more about, I guess. If you know what I mean. Um, oh, Jesus, I'm getting hit. And this armor is great against the fire. And what I was, what was that going to say? So I feel like they just wanted to make this game about ancestors and like more of the story behind the ancestors and the whole um, time machine thing and that the Cooper history is disappearing so we have to travel back in time to get it. Like, I know that, that Bentley said that he's making a time machine at the end of slide 3, but still it kind of feels like something they just thought of, just something, uh, just uh, an excuse for um, the Cooper gang to go back in history to meet the ancestors. So I really feel like they just wanted to make this game about the ancestors, but there's nothing wrong about that. The ancestors are really interesting, and why would we not want to know more about them? But I think it's a, it's a good direction they took the game in, I think. But um, if they ever make like Sly 5, I don't know what that game would be about, really. I don't know. I have no idea what they would make that about. Like, where would they go after Thieves in Time? Obviously, if you guys are watching this for the first time and you haven't played this game before, you don't know the ending of this game. So, yeah. But we're going to talk more about the ending when we actually get there. It's an okay ending. It's nothing wrong really about it. But um, I don't really see where they could take the story if, they're, if they decided to make Sly 5. Which I really hope they do, because uh, there were talks about that movie, but I don't know what happened to the Sly movie, if that was cancelled, or or if it's still coming, or whatever, I don't know. I don't think you can break the lock on that gate, and even if you could, there's no time. Thanks, Bentley. How about some good news? Look around, Sly. One of these guards must have the key. See, that's more like it. Alright, so we need to open up that door, or gate, or whatever, so one of these guards has the key, but um, it's pointing us to where the guard with the key is, so it's very easy to do this. Just go over here and pickpocket him, get some more coins, because I really need coins. There we go, the skeleton key, and we'll use that on this door. And the door is making a lot of noise, so I don't know how the guards are not hearing this. Like, what the hell? Oh, poor guards. That must be a horrible death. Um, so we need to get over to Ryuji. Uh, the, another cool thing about this samurai suit is that it can reflect these fireballs back at the target, basically. Which I think is very, very nice. It looks super cool. Like, you have to agree this samurai suit is... It looks very fun. It's fun to use. The only downside to it is that you go, you walk very slowly with it, but um, I can understand that it's supposed to be very heavy, and that's kind of the reason why it's, um, why he's walking so slowly. So yeah, I can understand that. Oh, what the, ha what the hell happened? Alright, um, at least we didn't have to start um, from the beginning with the, um, throwing back the targets. Um, Alright, we'll head over here. 
We'll take out these. Oh, I missed. There we go. And there we go. And now we'll head over to Rishi Cooper to save him from prison. I do not know you, but only a true Koopa could have reached this cage. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to alarm you, but my full name is Sly Cooper. Uh, I'm your relative from the future. Do not worry, ninja are never alarmed. With all that has happened here lately, I believe you. Oh, oh, oh. Now perhaps you would open the cage so that we may escape certain death. Right, of course. We successfully saved Ryuichi Cooper. That looks amazing. Job complete. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, comment if there's anything you want to say, and also subscribe to my channel. Share the video with your friends and family and whatnot. And I would really appreciate it if you follow followed me on my Twitter. The link is in the description of this video. Join me back in the next part for part three, everybody. See you. After rescuing Ryuichi, we returned to the hideout. Unfortunately, there wasn't much time for family reunions. We needed to figure out what was going on, and fast. Ryuichi confirmed that the source of the trouble was the tiger we had tracked in the village, someone calling himself El Jefe. After some more database digging, Bentley was able to uncover his Interpol file. El Jefe had an impressive record. Over the years, he had taken over dozens of small countries around the globe, usually for the highest bidder. He was a ruthless mercenary and military strategist of the highest order. In fact, he once boasted that he could overthrow a country commanding only three blind mice, armed with plastic spoons. According to his file, this guy had mysteriously vanished a while back, just as the authorities were closing in. Well, we had found him, and we needed to take him down. It looked like we were in for a tough battle, so we decided to start with Ryoichi's Sushi Shop.